Good morning, everyone. My name is Colette Pichon Battle. I'm with the Gulf Coast Center for Law and Policy, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to the Gulf South Rising Coffee and Conversation on Climate Change. As we commemorate 10 years of recovery since Katrina, um, and we bring the conversation of climate change to the forefront. Fist in the air. We're gonna let them know that we have not forgotten. So when I say we have not forgotten, you say we have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. We have not forgotten. So now when I say we stand here, we stand here. I'm tired of people saying you, we're resilient. It means that we're getting the worst of everything, but we're still here. <laughs> so it's just not a word that, uh, that I embrace. Uh, um, resistance is, um, it, it's twofold for us. Um, we are resisting what for some people seems to be the inevitable because of the way we have squandered our resources and disrespected the planet. But for us, it's also resistance to gentrification, resistance to um, put the pushing out of our culture. For a community to be truly recovered, you have to have the means, okay? You have to have financial resources. We live in a poor region, and Mississippi is the poorest state. How can you say that we're completely recovered? That is blatantly untrue. And that's the narrative that must be fought against continuously. Cost-benefit ratio, trade-offs, you know, and these are other words that they use when they, they don't want to protect an area like, like Ty was saying because it's low line. It, the cost to protect them outweighs the benefit of the whole society. But yet in these little bitty pockets of communities, you're losing culture, you're losing people that's been there for years and years and years and yet you're having to get them to relocate. Now you change their life, you change their livelihood, you change their way of making a living. Now they have to become the word that you call resilient. Now they have to relocate and become resilient in that community. This is the greatest fight that human beings have wandered into and Katrina and New Orleans are probably the place more than anything else where it broke into the open and people really began to understand the stakes. Not moved away from everything related to uh, slavery, Jim Crow segregation, we move on with that same equation and that's why we've not been able to fix it. We need a different mindset, we need a different equation for dealing with all of these problems and once the blinders are taken off and we can see the world the way it is, I think we can come up with better answers. The question is, will it be too late? The seas are rising, there's no doubt about it. We can slow them down, but we can only slow them down if we rise up too and do it and do it in some real spirit of solidarity.